So we're back with another tech tip. Today we're going to talk about harnesses and how to put them on and make sure that they're going to fit you correctly. Okay, so I've got a Matoyas Safe Tech harness on. It's a follow-through buckle style. And the first thing you want to do when you put a harness on, you're going to put one leg through each of the leg loops. You pull it up to your waist, above your hips. Now this has a dual color strap. So it's black on one side and it's blue on the other. The reason that's important is because when you do the buckle, you want to make sure that A, you d follow the buckle back. On this harness, it says danger here. So if you can see the word danger, that means you have not doubled the buckle back. Now because this is a dual color, you know it's black until I double it back. And then once I've doubled it back, it changes color from the black to the blue. So if I look at this and I see blue, and I can't see the danger, then I know that it's doubled back. If I only see the black or I see danger, then I know it's not doubled back. Same thing on the leg loops. You're gonna wanna get those to the proper fit. And then again, you're going to want to double the buckle back. So this is a single pass. This is doubled back. This is not a good fit. If I can comfortably slide a couple fingers in, that's a comfortable fit. You want to be able to have a full range of motion. And if the leg loop is too tight, you won't get that. But you do not want super baggy like this. The waist belt, you want it to be fairly snug. If you can maybe slide a fin one finger in, that's usually pretty good because you want to, again, have full range of motion and you want to be able to breathe. But it needs to be snug enough that it's not going to fall down past your hips or go up past your ribs. So if you double back, double back, double back. The belay loop is in the center. You can get about a finger here and slide maybe fingertips here. That's when you know your harness is going to fit you correctly.